So these are my predictions for the Edexcel C3 2015 paper. So first of all I have to say that I didn't work for an exam board, I don't know any whether it works for an exam board, these are just guesses. And Edexcel isn't the board that I teach, so I don't know it as well as the other ones. So please don't just revise what I say here, you should revise everything really, really well. But I've looked through the um, past papers, had a look at what sort of things come up, and this is what I think is going to come up big this year. So it's really, really important that you can balance equations properly and you can do your calculations properly. And when you do your calculations, you show all of the working. This has been a big problem over the past few years in the C3 paper. So I think the examiners are going to push this again because they're going to want to see that um, you guys know what you're talking about. So really, really focus on getting all of your calculations properly done. Um, remember, use all of the working um, and really, really important, you can balance your equations. Okay, tests for ions. These come up all of the time. There are a number of different tests you need to know for the positive ions and the tests for the negative ions. Now, these questions can be tricky because they're not just going to ask you what colour does it go when you burn potassium. They're going to give you a compound, they're going to give you a situation, and they're going to ask you to describe the test that could be carried out to identify what's in it. So there's a bit of logical thinking, a bit of thinking outside the box that you need to do here. Um, but you have to know your test for ions, otherwise you're not going to be able to answer these questions. These are really important. So electrolysis, it's really important you need, need to know um, what happens to each electrode, so that you can describe what happens in a redox reaction, what oxidation is, what um, uh, reduction is, that you can do the half equations, and that you know all the different types of um, electrolysis, so brine and salts. Experiments that you've done are a really, really big thing in C3, especially titration. This is going to be really important that you know how to do titration properly and that you can do that you're really confident with the titration calculations. Equilibrium. This is another massive thing that students really, really struggle with, and topics like this tend to come up again and again. So make sure you know the things that affect equilibrium, things that can change equilibrium, and uh, the conditions to do with ammonia production. On organic chemistry, there's a lot of organic chemistry in C3. Make sure you can draw um, at least the first three in each homologous series. Make sure you can identify everything that make the functional group that makes it homologous series. You know the properties, you know the uses, um, and you can describe how things turn into other things. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.